Howdy y'all and welcome to Lex Lives. I think it's time to play a little Infi Tech 2. Alright, so I have just come out of the nether. Uh, collecting... What was it collecting? Nether Quartz. That's what I was collecting. Um, I uh, reloaded my save game, of course. Uh, and... Man, I really would have liked to have gotten some more Nether Quartz, but... It got too got too laggy in the nether for me today. I didn't feel like fiddling with it. So I got enough uh, quartz there though to go ahead and make one one new reservoir. And uh, so I'll go ahead and save this here for later. Um, how much longer are you guys going to be on the uh, logs here? I think we'll just load you up with the nether quartz, let you do that, and then you can go back to the logs. Um, I've, uh, also been out to grab some Dipnite, which should be in here, uh, it should be about 30, 36 it looks like, yeah. Uh, alright, so, while that makes up my quartz, do I have iron on me? I do not have iron. Let me grab some iron. Iron, 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 iron. There you are. Ooh, does that have to be in plates? I don't remember. Uh, Ender Reservoir, where are you? Uh, right there. Cauldron is, yes, plates. Alright. So I need seven plates. And then I also need you to cook up this stib night. So I can get me some more plates going here. Make me some antimony. So I can combine that with my lead. I don't know how much lead I have, actually. Uh, ooh, that says I've got three lead and twelve bars of antimony. I should have been going for lead. <laughs> and not the other. Okay. Uh, well, I still needed some. Alright, let's look in this thing. Where is... Lead. 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 Galena ore. Okay. I actually have Galena. Do I have Galena? Do I? Yes, right here. Alright. It is dark purple. And it is... No. 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 Is this it right here? No. Okay, you know what? You're going to have to show me where it's at on this map. Okay. Oh, it's right here next to me. Okay, sweet. So I should be able to go find some lead there then, when I am ready for that. Awesome. We might have to get some lead. Uh, let's go ahead and turn these over. Okay. Did you get my seven? Yes. Are you still cooking up my... I guess that doesn't work, does it? There you go. Cook those up for me, and you can become a cauldron. Uh, so I really don't, didn't get anything done today uh, before starting this. I, uh, I mean, got a couple of things done, of course, but uh, we uh, we have been watching um, the Hunger Games movies, and so 
Uh, we wound up watching one of the Hunger Games tonight, which of course ate up all my... Well, no, it's not just the Hunger Games. Um, I, uh... Oh, you know what? I need another cauldron. Uh, um, I don't know. I I it just took me forever to get to the point where I could even play this. So, uh, I guess it was my fault. I should have worked on it yesterday. I thought about the fact I should be working on this yesterday, and I didn't do it. So. What did I just do? I'm an idiot. I just turned 36 Galena into 12. Isn't that impressive? Awesome. I didn't think that through, did I? Or Galena. Uh, Stib Knight. I turned 36 Stib Knight into 12 bars of antimony. I should have gotten 36 bars out of that. Yeah. Uh, Alright, actually I need you. I'm going to go ahead and make this reservoir. I need you. And then we're going to get some lead. Um, there you are. But, uh, yeah, we, uh... <laughs> we were busy watching that tonight, and then... Uh, in the middle of it, which is part of the reason why I really didn't have any time. Uh, <laughs> I heard something outside, and it uh, was bumping against the window, and so I couldn't tell if it was the movie or my actual outside my window. There's a... Uh, we're in the... Well, I'm in the basement at the moment, and... Uh, um, so it's got some in-ground windows, you know, a little window box there. Come on, I saw it was dark out there. Hurry up. And, uh, I guess I could put this one inside here. Uh, do I need my Yetta wrench to move that? I at least need it to sit things up here, I think. And then, let's grab you. We can actually make use of you. So let's uh, take this out, and this out, and this out, and then I'm going to put this in here so I can get some buckets of water. Okay, and then here, let's make a little space, and we can put in our one, two, three, four. Is water flowing into here or not? What's going on? No wonder why my thing blows up. Why am I not getting any water? Give me some water, man. Um, but, uh, okay, apparently it was getting daytime and not nighttime like I thought. It really looks dark. Oh, it's raining. Oh. It's raining. Okay, is that enough? That thing there should be producing water for me, right? Why is it not filling up that little tank so I can get some water out of it? That doesn't make any sense. One bucket. I did not realize these things were so slow. Hurry up. Oh, you can see it. Look at how slow the water is coming into this thing. Blink. <laughs> um, what was I saying? I forgot. Um, but, oh, oh, yeah. So something was plunking against the window. And so I looked. And there's a little baby rabbit trapped down inside the window box. And so... I, uh, <laughs> I paused the movie, and, uh, we, uh, 
show the little bunny to the niece and nephews and stuff and um and then it is it is struggling trying to get out of the box huh does this not pull water out? Is this the problem I'm having? You're not producing water? What is going on here? Uh, does it have to connect from the bottom instead of the side? Oh yeah, I couldn't remember what these things look like. I thought it was supposed to produce a bucket of water every second. Okay, well that's not working. Alright. Let me try raising these up higher and we'll pump out from the bottom. Maybe this is why I'm having explosions because I don't have any water. I just thought I had water. Okay, can we connect this to here to fill this thing up? And then... issues. Okay, now water should be flowing into this thing. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I didn't turn on output. Yeah, yeah, that's my fault. Right click with a wrench to enable auto output. Right click with a wrench where? Uh, I am so confused. Yes, that's that's what I needed right there. Get out of there. Okay. So now this thing should be should be filling up with water, right? But let me go get a bucket of water. I don't know that this is outputting water like I thought it was supposed to. See, we can't get a bucket of water right here. Somewhere in this mess where I whoops, keep taking buckets of water away from it, so it just gets worse and worse. Um, but yeah, so the uh, the thumping, yeah, because I can concentrate. Uh, turn out to be a baby bunny, uh, which I guess is redundant. Turn out to be a, a little bunny, and uh, it uh, <laughs> it couldn't get out. It was too tall. For it to uh, to to actually use the or to jump out, I guess. Okay, let me knock this out of here. Now it says right click, right? Formed when placed two by two by one. Two by two by one. Have I laid these down incorrectly? Is this supposed to be too tall? And I've got four of them together. It's not... 
I can never remember what that means. Uh, what the the meaning of that is. Uh, let's see. Large bronze three by three by five. So yeah, it's three by three by five tall. So this is two by two by one tall, which is what I've got, produces one bucket per second. Right click with a wrench to enable auto output. And this is the Ender IO wrench, yes. Oh, look, I see it. Okay. I don't get it, but I see it. So if I put this here, all right. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I have my other one set up to do this. No wonder why I'm having problems. Okay, so now that's filled. Now I should be able to put a pipe and a pipe and this will load water into my boiler yes okay I think we're getting somewhere in here okay now you then can give me these back because they're not in use um, but yeah so we uh, I opened the window uh, and tried to catch the little bunny but the window, uh, the window box is too deep for me to reach all the way to the back of, and so he just kept running from corner to corner. And uh, so I put, uh, I have a little stand in there that I put my air conditioner on when it's air conditioner season. I didn't take it out this winter, um, and so I moved that into the corner where he kept running to, so he couldn't get in the corner. And so he runs the opposite way, and he comes right underneath my arm and into the room. So now I have a baby rabbit running around in the basement hiding under chairs and things like that so we had to spend like a half hour trying to catch that little guy and uh, we finally did got him uh, got him cornered he was trying to squeeze in between a uh, an old radio and the wall and uh, so we uh, scooped him up grabbed him and scooped him up in a grabbed him and put him in a pillowcase carried him out that way and uh, <laughs> yeah so that kind of uh, took up some of my play time because then we had to finish our movie. See, this is not set up. This is... Now it's set up. Now it's pumping out water. Man, I'm an idiot. Okay, but you know what? I want to go ahead and take this. And I'm going to place it over here. Um... Yeah, I want to place it right here actually so I'm gonna knock th this one this one out and then I'm gonna want to get one more for over there Okay, but I'm going to need some water to put in this thing, get it filled up. Okay. Check. Alright, now let's get this one out of here. Okay. Apparently, I just crashed because they all left. Oh no, I screwed up my Yetta wrench. That's what happened. Um, yeah, there we go. The Yetta wrench has got some sittings down there in the bottom left hand corner. If you shift and right click. Oh, weird. I thought those pipes from over here came from. Over here, they must not 
come from over here at all. Really? I thought they came straight through. They must be over here then, somewhere. So, yeah, no, that's getting water at the moment. So right click on you. So now you're draining water into the system. I think. Make sure that's just flowing out there. So you guys then should be... I'm jumping in the water, apparently. I don't know why I thought I could make that jump. That was dumb. You guys sh then should be filling up with water. You are filling up with water again. Yes, because you are currently not connected to anything. But I'm probably just going to take these down. Um, they serve their purpose. I guess. Uh, got here. Stupid strawberries. Uh, and with that, I guess, then I'm going to head down to see if I can't get some lead to make some battery components. And, um, yeah, that should be, that should be pretty good for tonight then. But yeah, little guy, he was, he was tiny, he was so little. Uh, his ears must be about an inch and a half tall, maybe. Uh, but he, uh, first he, he, he jumped past me, right, and, um, went behind my chair. I, I tried to snatch him, I couldn't grab him. And then, um, okay, where's this wrong one? No, it's behind me. How did I get into this back here? Magnesite, bentonite... Uh, okay, it's actually back this way. It's not part of this system. It's part of the other system. And um, so I went behind my, my desk that my computer's sitting in, and he was tucked in behind the power supply. And uh, so I, um, I, we had a rabbit as a pet. And so I was worried he was going to kick and claw. Uh, and so I got a pillowcase and was going to scoop him over the pillowcase. And so... I couldn't quite reach where he was at, so I got a uh, I got a back scratcher. I used that to uh, poke him a little bit, try and get him to come out of there. And he did come out of there, but he came out of there at like 100 mile an hour. Okay, I need to go... I can't really figure out where this is at. Where am I? So it should be to my right. <laughs> oop, oop. It's a bad time for a lag. I see you trying to kill me, game. Blowing up my torch. I didn't bring any torches with me. Uh, so it must be... Okay, that didn't lead anywhere. And uh, so when I went to... I poked him and he took off running and he ran right into the sack. At, or the pillowcase. I was calling it a sack. And, uh, and then he jumped back out of the sack when I went to scoop him up completely. Okay, now I'm really not where I need to be. What the heck? Maybe it's up here? This is the right direction. I just think I need to go down lower, right? Oh no, see, now I'm down... Oh yeah, this actually makes it easier. It's right next to me here somewhere. It's got me down below me, right? Oh, but this doesn't help because I didn't bring any torches. I gotta get some torches. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so... <laughs> He took off from there, he went under the chair, I, you know, my big recliner. So we uh, tried to get him out from underneath the recliner, and then um, when we moved the recliner, then he got behind, um, got behind one of us, and we tried to get him out from there, and he took off running, he ran under the TV, and then he ran out from underneath the TV onto the bookcase, and out from the bookcase, over in the corner, we got over to the corner, of course, we got stuff everywhere down here. You know, this is the game room. I got... He's dodging around boxes for 
board games and on the bookcase that's full of movies and try to get behind the couch, but luckily he couldn't fit back there. And eventually we chased him into the guest room, and so we were able to close the guest room door uh, on him and uh, trap him in there. Uh, it was crazy. He went back outside, so he's all good now. Okay, I need some sticks. Whoops, I made too many sticks. Thank you. Torches. I could probably leave some of this stuff behind that I'm not using at the moment, right? I don't need these, or these, or these. Um, or these, or these. Oh, there's not enough room for them in there. These, or these. Or this. Uh, and then this powder stuff can hang out in here. Oh, and these logs can get turned into charcoal while I'm gone. Um, but yeah, so it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to, uh, I think my sister took a photo of him, so I'll, uh, have to put that up on my Twitter so you can see him. Uh, yeah, over here. He was just a tiny little thing, though. Um, like, scoop him up my hand. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think it'll just be easier if I go in from back here. I had to have I had to have found it by going down the other way, but this will just be easier, I think, in the long run. It's getting all crazy there on me, Drill. A big pothole for me to fall down in. Cuts up the dirt too much. Uh, okay, now I think I might have gone down below it. What's the waypoint for this thing? Y of 39, and I am currently at Y of 12. Twenty-four. So I actually need to go up from here. <laughs> uh, all right. Actually, it should just be right in front of me if this is accurate. Uh, where are we at? We're at Y twenty-seven. We'll find it, and then we'll call it a day. Come on, game. Just give me... Here we go. Uh, right there's lead. Galena, Galena, Galena. I don't want... I need lead. Galena. Oh, I can't even... I can't even mine the Galena. I am going to have to go, uh, I guess, make another diamond pick. Or maybe I should look to see how to upgrade this drill. Galena, Galena. Um, all right, well, that's where I can get some lead anyways. So, all right, click like you like. Subscribe, be sure and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later.